This is the PodCraft Podcast, episode 5 for Monday, August 17th. Today we will feature three beers from Charlie's recent road trip. This is the PodCraft Podcast, where we talk about craft beer from Southern California and beyond. This is your host, Chris, your other host, Charlie, we have the brains behind the operation, Steve, running our technical aspects. The uh, Anything new, Charlie? Any, Everything's any good beers? New. Yes, I got a few new beers. We'll get to them. Trust me. I like it. Oh, oh I said it already. <laughs> already. We made it, made it 18 seconds. <laughs> made it less than one minute in. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so the uh, feel free to give us, a, uh, give us a follow at the PodCraft at Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Uh, our webpage, thepodcraft.com, or our email at thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com with any questions or suggestions. So, Steve, how about you? Any good beers this week? Yeah, so we just got back from vacation um, the beach in San Alejo. Nice. And um, Black Plague Brewing. Yeah. Uh, the Tropicus, Tropical Pale Ale. It was I really I good. Had it. Yeah, it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. I like it. They're yeah. from North County, I think, right? And yeah. then they, they have a tasting room right around University. Really? Is it University or El Cajon? Which one's farther north? University. Uh, university. It's oh, university. north? It's El Cajon. El Cajon. Oh, that's the one down there. Uh, yeah. Across right the street Pappies. from the Dirty Bird or whatever it is. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. That's it. I like it. I, I've, I've been uh, wanting. There's two. Um, there's uh, uh, we're averaging one per minute. <laughs> um <laughs> That's perfect timing. I have been wanting to uh, to <laughs> stop at about Black thirty Plague. of them here. <laughs> Any, when I when I drive past there, I think about it. Been riding my scooter past there. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. your hex angel. Kind of bummed out about that. Yeah, well, I did a quick query. It's been my goal to start a scooter gang. That uh, was going to be named the Hex Angels. So the other day, I just googled Hex Angels. Right. There's already a scooter gang in Minneapolis in called the Hex Angels. State. In my home state. I think you're automatically enshrined into their uh, group. I'm going to show up. I'm going to show them Just how this Hex Angels. show up with your scooter. I might not be patched into the Hex Angels. <laughs> you, you won't be able to wear the three-patch biker uh, <laughs> the jacket. Full, the full kit. Yeah. <laughs> but I can drink root beer and uh, <laughs> sing karaoke with Yeah, them. sing karaoke, drink root, root beer. Yeah. With the rest of them. Which wouldn't be a bad gig. So what do you got? What's uh, what's our first beer? What Charlie? are we starting off with? We are stuff at, starting off with Broccoli World. This is from the other half in New York City. New York City, a Imperial Indian Pale, and it is uh, eight point two percent alcohol by volume. And I have not tasted this beer yet, so this is going to be a first for me too. I'm excited. Oh, just the sound. So your uh, your recent trip, you uh, you stopped by a couple of breweries. I stopped by uh, three breweries, to be exact. I stopped by um, the first one was um, up in New York City, and that was the other half, which they were very friendly. And uh, I think I loaded six cases of beer into my car, and uh, or into my daughter's car. Sorry, and uh, I. <laughs> I was pretty excited about it, so I had a few. Uh, I had a few beers from uh, local here, and um, I handed those over. And I said, "Hey, are you guys interested in these?" And they're like, "Of course we are. You know what? We love anything we get." So I handed them those, and uh, they gave me the same amount of beer back. So that was pretty cool. You know, I didn't expect it. I wasn't planning on it, but I was very receptive. So they gave me a couple of their beers that I didn't buy. So I had a couple of those, but. Uh, then uh, from New York City, we bailed out of there and rolled down to um, Aslan. And uh, that's in Virginia. That's in northern Virginia. And I went in there and I basically bought like two and a half cases of beer there. And uh, these stouts and uh, a couple IPAs. Which we'll get stuff. to. I think, yeah. we, I think we have a stout here for And that. then uh, the um, they didn't have any can- uh, bottle stouts available. Or, yeah, they did. They were in cans. They weren't in bottles. So I was expecting bottles, and they were in cans. So I took them. I didn't care what, what they were in. but uh, And I did the same thing. I said, are you interested in any of these beers I got here? You know, I tossed out a couple of names, and the guy goes, absolutely. And he goes, here. You know, and I handed them actually one from the other the other half. I handed them a four-pack of this. And he goes, 
this is their new release. How did you get this? You know, and I said, well, I, would, I just came from there. So yeah, the half's actually opening a uh, a brewery in uh, DC this mm-hmm. uh, September, October, or September. Yeah, I believe. they're moving right along. They did something today with that new release that they're putting out today. That Horace Stout. I was just like, I was just Friday. there. Yeah, thanks. Mm-hmm. Wish they would have mentioned that. I would have invited myself for one of those. But um, in other words, Asm, I think the guy's name was Daryl. The guy in, in New York City was Ben. There was a woman there, and I can't remember her name. Spit it out. <laughs> 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 but uh, there was uh, uh, that. And then from, from there, we went down to um, Richmond. And Richmond is where my nephew my niece and her husband which i call my nephew i guess and uh he has been purchasing uh beer for me for a while so that stuff has been uh stocking up at his house so he had about um probably maybe 15 10 or 15 crawlers you know i think i counted 24 yeah 24 total but um, he had quite a few, and uh, I went ahead and bought some more. But uh, it worked out. I mean, um, Tyler is his name, and uh, he said if I mention his name, you know, to mention that his name is Tyler Master Extraordinaire. But I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But I did it. There you go. <laughs> but well, he was I thank I thank him super uh, helpful well- in getting us beverages from the answer, which. You cannot proxy anymore, so you have yeah. to pick them up yourself. And uh, I went and picked some up. So we went in there at eleven thirty at night. They close at twelve, and I bought I think uh, twelve more crawlers. Said, so "Give me everything you got." Yeah, just load me up, and I'll bring back the truck up and pull it away from you. So just one, one of everything. <laughs> yeah, but it's all they had, you know. I mean, they they were they weren't. Uh, they were out of a couple of them that were really good, but we did end up getting one that actually Ashley, even like my daughter, thought it was pretty amazing. And it was a banana swirly or something like that. Banana colada. Oh, it was amazing. Gosh. Yeah, so, no, those uh I'm excited to uh to to get to that answer. Um but first let's uh let's hit on this other half. What yeah. do you think of that beer? I think it's amazing. It has a great taste. It it certainly does. It's uh it's hazy. The nose on it is super hazy. Super, super. It smells fantastic. It tastes really, really crisp and clean. Big fan of that. Right up, right at the. Does it's the the hop profile is Citra, Galaxy, uh, Motueka, and Eldorado. You can't Definitely. go wrong with some Motueka. I really like that. It's a super, super smooth beer. It's tasty. I like it a lot. That's I, not a I bad may, release, uh... you know. Great oh. looking can, though. I mean, they got some really good color with a. That broccoli is a whole line of uh, of of their beers, which I kind of like, you know, because you can get your get your vegetables out of the way. Uh, yeah, I like it too, you know, like a little salad with my beer. Yes, every now and then, but yeah. I'm not uh, I'm not afraid to go back there. Let me tell you that, man. If if I can get these kind of beers, I'm I'm happy to make the jaunt across the country and yeah. slide in and fill up. You know, the only time I've had. Other half cans, like fresh other half cans, were um, uh, maybe a year ago. They were out, or no, it seems like a year ago. I think it was just the beginning of this pandemic. Bottlecraft had some. Had some. Uh, did Bottlecraft and uh, Tornado had some? Um, oh, I grabbed. I grabbed both. <laughs> yeah, so they, they certainly Tornado. don't make it out this way very often. Gene was uh, pleased to uh, bring out a flat for me when they. When they were releasing that. So I was, and uh, I think we got uh, Green City in one of those. Actually, that one is my favorite. I mean, this is really good, but mm-hmm. that Green City is so smooth. It's like butter. It's ridiculously good. Yeah, that's great. I'm uh, definitely a, a fan of of the other half IPAs. They do really it right. Any beer they've had. They do it right. Yeah, well, I, I did grab uh, the stouts that they released and... Uh, they had two of them uh, were pretty decent sounding. I, you know, I'm sure they're delicious. So we'll find that out in the future. But uh, the uh, special treat is that Aslan, uh, when I gave that guy some beer, I think he, he called himself Uncle Daryl. I think he said, "I'm terrible with names." So it's, uh, 
But uh, he says, uh, I think I can help you out, you know? And I'm like, great. So he gave me some beer and then we put it in the cooler and we got in the car and we were looking up our destination, you know, on, on the phone where we were going to be next, which would have been down in Richmond. And he comes over and knocks on the window and he says, uh, hey, how about you and your friends blow your minds with this, you know? And I'm like, absolutely, I will. Thank you so much. It was great. So I'm giving that one to you. Hmm. So excited. it's their Anaheim stout, it's called, I guess. So, yeah. Or that's just after somebody that came from Anaheim that was brewing in Anaheim, maybe at uh, Noble or something like that. You know, Evan used to, uh, from Green Cheek, used uh, no to uh, brew at Noble. No kid. Yeah, so we'll have to look up the, uh, we'll have to see what the uh, what the history behind it oh, is. Well, that'd be super interesting. So, yeah, for sure. You know, speaking of the other half, you mentioned today they were releasing a, uh, uh, they do this Freaky Friday thing where they'll brew somebody else's beer and the other the other people brew theirs, I guess. And this is the first time they've done a stout. Uh, they did it with Horace. So yeah. they released a uh, Marshall's Crest, uh, one of his beers today at their brewery, and he released uh, one of their beers today. Uh, so, I, so I got that on order. So uh, one of these times we'll pop that. Love the, to. Um, they do some seriously good stuff there. I'm, I was... Thoroughly impressed with the building. I mean, the, it's a, it's a it's a whole block practically of what they have. You know, the spot there underneath the uh, the not trolley, but it's a subway, I guess, or subline, or you know, the thing that moves all the people around up above. You know, it's like thirty feet off the ground. It's pretty impressive. It's where they show all the movies. You know, in the New train. York. Yeah, the train, trolley, train. So they, uh, um, yeah, that's got to be pretty pretty high rent. Probably not a cheap brewery to run. I don't know. It was it was nice, and they had all their swag there. And I I meant to buy some stickers because I always like putting stickers of the beers breweries that I've been to on my car. And I totally forgot, and I did the same thing. I get excited, you know, when I'm going in there get beer. You know, I'm getting all fired up, and it's super exciting. But I didn't get either one, so I'm gonna have to go we back can, and get an Aslan and a uh, other half. So here's your warning. Yeah. Charlie, Charlie's in route. I'm sure they won't mind if I buy another six cases either. So I like it. There's three. That's an hour down to four minutes. It's only four. All right. That's the last, uh, the last time. Hey, so our next beer, let's, uh, you, you were talking about the answer. Let's, uh, let's jump into one of those, uh, those juices. Um, you cannot go wrong with those. I don't care what. I have not tasted a bad one yet. I mean, yeah, seriously, they are unbelievable. I, uh, I don't know how they do it, but they do it. It's yeah, just I'm a fan. Incredibly good. So this is uh, the Padre of Dark Berries. Uh, it's a blackberry, blueberry, uh, black currant, and boysenberry uh, fruit beer. Let's see what we Ooh, got. hear. That it's like a that's a crowler coming out. A little there. crowler of uh, this one's going to be. I'm going to pour it right there over the uh, the cooler. Mm-hmm. Look at that. That is fantastic looking already. So it's, I mean, it's like a magenta red. It's an amazing color. Yeah, it's just a crazy color. It looks amazing in the sunlight. And the smell is it just. It smells like a big fruit bomb. It's so. Like, a, like Hawaiian berries. punch. Yeah. Good Lord. It is. And producer Steve is going to break yeah, his Yeah, he's going to uh, break his, his code. Rule. He saw the, the color. You can't saw our miss eyes out on light this. up and broke his uh, his number one rule of no drinking during the podcast. It's like a Slurpee. It is. It is. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it, it's, and they spell it, it's a juice, which is J-O-O-S-E, and it is fantastic. I mean, they do this in every flavor you can imagine. They have one called Three Scoops, and it's got three different scoops of, uh, like, sherbet ice cream flavors. Just ridiculous. So that is really amazing. <laughs> yeah. So their write up on that is. Steve is liking it. You know it's good. <laughs> a super marshmallow popsicle with blackberries, blueberries, black currants, and boysenberries. Uh, the juice for you, Padre. Ashley, you want to taste this? I mean, that's that's unbelievable. Yeah. I just, I mean, you, you just look at the sediment in there. Just all the. Uh... Well, it's just like bouncing with fruit. I mean, look, I mean, you can't even see through it. It's so fruit flavored. Yeah, it's more like a smoothie. Slurpee is not the right word. Yeah, smoothie. Yeah, right, right. Well, if you put it on ice, or I mean, yeah. Well, they 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 put it in. Yeah, you know, a lot of their that beers be now they're throwing into the slushy machine, and they're making slushies out of them. So it's just it's it's knockout good. I mean, this is dangerous too. We, I believe it's like nine percent, eight or nine percent. Yeah, that that's awesome. Yeah, it's awesomely the, dangerous. Uh, 
Yeah, seven uh, comes in uh, just a hair over seven. Seven okay. or seven. Pretty. You're safe. But nevertheless, then. you know when you're drinking when you got thirty two <laughs> ounces of that. Then. You're yeah. safe on seven percent with a thirty two ounce beer. No danger. The last time you came back, I think you gave me a uh, a crowler of like rum killer. The or, rum painkiller. Yeah. yeah, rum painkiller. That's, that's their go to, man. That is legit. It's phenomenal. But when you crack thirty two ounces of that guy, that like, one is over nine percent. Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's a party. It, it sure is. It is a party. Let me tell you. You've yeah, got to have a couple of friends there at least just to get that thing done because 32 ounces is a big cup of water. Let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. This, I I could drink probably uh, eight ounces of this. You know, I, I think much more than that. And I might be like, man, I got a so Pilsner I can, uh, yeah, I can drink so on. so sweet, though. But, yeah, they do this right. And I'm serious. They do something different. It seems like every time I've been in there, and, wow! And this this is their 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 every day or three times a week. I think they release Tuesdays, the, Thursdays, and Sundays. Sunday. They fill a bunch of crowlers. Yeah, I believe, they'll right? fill these up. I think they're you know they're not cheap, but they're truly worth it. I mean, you bring this to a party. Guess what? Everybody wants to try it when you crack it open because it looks the cannon's amazing art that they have. And I mean, it's just fun. That can looks like fun in a can right there. I mean, you got the big smiling guy there and the brick wall with all the fruit bursting out. It's amazing. Like Super Kool-Aid amazing. man running through the wall. Yeah, pretty much. It's similar. It's a, he's a can laid man, but yeah. uh, it's uh, they do it right. Seriously, they're they're not uh, they're not messing around when they make these things. And and I thought, ah, you know. I'll go there because you told me to check it out when I was there, and I did. And I went in there and I got a taster of everything they had. Let me tell you, I was blown away because there was not a bad beer in the bunch. Yeah, it was a couple of years ago, right? Or when you were bringing <laughs> yeah. Sophie out maybe last time? Yeah, or? at least. But it was, I mean, these guys, yeah. it's hopping. I mean, they're, they're open now, too. So you can go in there and actually, and they've changed their menu, which is, you know, they have some, uh, uh, there's a restaurant in the front that you can get food What's from. What's the restaurant in the front? Is it uh, um, I is can't it the, remember the, guy, the name. Is it a Vietnamese restaurant? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's, so it's top of the line food. Yeah, so the and they were they in 2018 they were a finalist for a James Beard Award. Mm. Um, but the the I think Mekong or Mekong Mekong yeah. Mekong. So his uh, that's a that's a family restaurant uh, that they I, I think they it started in like 2004 I believe, um, and they had a phenomenal beer menu, yeah. like a great beer menu. And then um, in 2014, the guy opened a brewery. Yeah, well. It's- and their brewery is just top notch yeah, as well. It like is when you're putting out this type elite. of stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. I'll say it. I, I mean, there are some breweries that I haven't been to, obviously, but as far as the ones that I've been to, this place I will go to every single time I'm in Richmond. Sounds like the food's pretty good. Oh, the food is fantastic. They've actually changed the menu up a little bit, so there's different stuff that you can get now too. And it is, from what I've heard, it is still very, very delicious and amazing food. So don't be afraid of that. You know. The, the actual restaurant up, up front, I don't even know. I've never been in that restaurant, but I've eaten the food, and I know the food is top-notch. So Yeah. Indiana Nick said, you know, I sent him a picture of that beer the other day. <laughs> Indiana and I was Nick. like, what do you think of that picture? He's like, you looked at it, he's like, I think Charlie didn't give me enough of those crawlers. That's <laughs> right? what he said. He's like, next time, all I want is to answer crawlers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm sure he will. Uh, I gave him a painkiller, and uh, um, I think I might have given him one of these. Well, Nick. If you got one of these, uh, that's yeah, a, that's a good that's one. A banger, right? He said there. he hadn't opened either one of them. Oh, man, they are they're doing it right. I I can't uh, can't say how much I love that place. But you know, like I said, I went there once and I was hooked. I mean, seriously, if you can go into a place like that and walk out with beers that you could, I mean, actually, I flew home with these the last time and I put them in a cooler and I checked the bag, I checked the cooler, and. They made them home, surprisingly, you know. <laughs> so, speaking of which, right, because it's difficult to to travel with uh, with fruited beers. Mm-hmm. Like the, uh, you know, we, we had uh, uh, a few months ago, we had lost that whole case, that box of 450 North. Yeah, when that it, was uh, a sad day. Yeah, when uh, some of our fruited beers exploded and uh, the guys down in the FedEx dock drank all our beer. I believe they did. If they didn't, they're crazy. So how, how do you transport those to ensure I, that uh, you don't have a car full of exploded cans? I have a Yeti, a big uh, hopper, and then I have uh, two Ozark Mountain Trail, Ozark Trail ones from uh, Walmart, believe yeah. it or not. And they're the cheapest bags I could find. 
But these things are super serious. I mean, they're 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 Yeti quality, in my opinion. The zipper is a little wanky, but if you get it zipped up tight and you push all the air out of it, I mean, you could put ice in every other day in those ones. But I mean, that's super simple. I I have to replace the ice in the in the Yeti every three days. So I mean, mm-hmm. it's not too terrible. So I just re iced on the way out. I mean, it only took us. I believe it was 40, 40 hours to drive from uh, Richmond to Las Vegas straight through. We didn't stop. Other than we stopped for Nick. We gave old, we did. Hey, well, did you have to go very far out of the way? No, he actually met us off the freeway there. So okay. that was a big help. And uh, I appreciate it immensely because it would have been an hour plus round trip to do if we had to go up to, up to his place. So I appreciate it. And it was uh, it was well worth it. I mean, he gave, she gave me a ton of beer. I mean, that was so generous and uh he doesn't know this but if he listens to the podcast i'm not even going to charge him for what i got him out of uh the other half and aslan so well, i'm not i'm gonna make sure he doesn't listen to the podcast <laughs> you know <laughs> no he actually i actually just talked to nick uh, a couple hours ago and he was like hey he's like hey charlie or maybe it was an hour ago uh he had said hey charlie said you guys have a podcast he's like i'm about to listen so uh, i'm sure well, he surprise, will be listening. Nick, you're, yeah there you go you got free of charge free Christmas- beer Christmas and August. Nick. I'm sure he'll hook us up with some more uh, 450 North. Which he is, said he's going to go heavy this next step. Uh, well, 450. they have crawlers now, so I told him I said get all the crawlers, get just get them and put them in. I'll send you my Ozark uh, suitcase and uh, we'll do it up. I think I'm going to see him uh, in September, mm-hmm. possibly. Mm-hmm. So then we'll just send you. There you go. I'll, I'll mule. My turn to mule. <laughs> so the uh, it's your middle. That's name. phenomenal. That's yeah. a very, very good beer. That is so, our nice. final beer uh, of the day uh, is is from Aslan. And you have a uh, Juan de Bolas. Uh, it's a stout, an imperial stout with Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee, blueberries, cocoa nibs, and coconut. I'm a huge, huge fan of coconut uh, in a stout. Let's see how this one uh, comes through. So, speaking of Aslan, here's my uh, cross country gift is to Chris. Which I'm sure he'll love, especially Let's if he cracks it with me. It'll even be better. Exactly. I'll uh, I'll definitely uh, pop it with you. So it's from the Aslan Barrel Project here. So the first, let's uh, let's look at this one. You smell the coffee in that. So it's Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee, a little coconut. It's very rich in coffee. I can smell it already. It doesn't pour like a heavy wow. stout. No, it certainly isn't that pastry stout. That super thick. Yeah. There's cinnamon in that? That's what it says. Oh, there was. Okay. You can definitely taste the cinnamon, vanilla. But when you smell and coffee, it. Coffee, cocoa nibs and coffee, I think. When you smell it, I think you, you smell the coffee I and the, the, coffee. the coconut. That's a, that's a phenomenal stout. Now, I'm going to be honest because I tasted the other one I got from them. Uh-huh. And it's better than this, in my personal opinion. So, I, I, it's not bad, that's for sure, but it's just, it's different. It's different than the other one. It smells fantastic. I can give it that. Yeah, no, that I mean, is... Taste-wise, uh, I, I, I was thinking it was going to be a lot more flavorful. And maybe it's just the coffee that's that's taking charge there. Yeah, you know, it, it's kind of cinnamon. Yeah, there's no this, cinnamon in there. It, but none, really? Yeah, it says blueberries, cocoa nibs, uh, coconut, uh, blue mountain coffee. That's definitely a very, very good stout, but absolutely. Juan de must be the coffee there. Le bolas. Juan de le bolas. That's good. I would definitely. You can definitely taste the coffee. Well, the plus is, is that it's in a it's in a can, and it's not thirty two ounces or twenty two ounces, which you know it's probably what fifteen percent, twelve percent. Yeah, I'd uh, probably somewhere near there. Around that mark is what I'm saying. I, I don't. I didn't really investigate that one. I was more yeah, fifteen percent. There you go. That's a. Uh, that's tasty though. It's growing on me a little bit. Maybe it needs to be warmer. Yeah, the uh, I just pulled it out of the fridge. So yeah, you know they they ask you to store it at you know thirty five to forty five, but once again drinking a stout, right? We want to be fifty to 55 degrees probably 55 for maximum. I wish it was 55 degrees outside yeah it's about 155 degrees feels like it good night my pits are swick yeah no that's uh I'm a huge fan of that 
That's why we have the fans going here. Speaking of fans. Do you I, like it? Do you like it, Chris? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah. you're not baiting me into it. We've went, we've almost went 13 minutes. <laughs> I had actually uh, proposed to the guys that we create a, uh, a Rube Goldberg machine uh, that starts with uh, Charlie or Steve hitting a button when they hear me say, I like that. Uh, and it ending with me getting kicked by a mule. <laughs> but the, uh, um, that would have been three kicks so far, I believe, in the first 12 minutes. So we... Uh, Keep it under 30. Doug wasn't available. Dr. Doug. <laughs> <laughs> he is not available right now. I don't think he's... He's busy at work helping the world survive, I believe. He is uh, I essential. I told him that he is essential. Right on cue. See, do you see how Steve just baited me in there? He says... He's like, do, do you... And he gets me thinking about it. And then I say, you're not going to get me. And then right at the end, you, you know, and then yeah, I, I, what like do I, I, yeah, I use my phone. Easy to, easy to get to. It. I'm easy. I'm easy. Okay. It's, it's growing on me. Yeah. That's a good beer. It's growing on me. It smells getting better in the, I'm holding it in the palm of my hand. So I'm warming it up a little bit. That's what we need. We need a, uh, a thermometer. A hand think, warmer. To make sure we, Someone uh, to warm up our beers that we. Yep. To ensure that we're we drinking them right that. at 55 degrees. Okay. That's an amazing beer. I'm good with that one. Switzerland, so, done it well. So, Charlie, why don't you reach into that mystery cooler and uh, grab our after potty beer Whoa. while I uh, wrap this up? Whoa. So, I uh, thank you once again for listening. Uh, this is your host, Chris. Uh, feel free to give us a follow at the podcast, Podcraft at Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. Our webpage, thepodcraft.com. Email us at thepodcraftpodcast uh, at gmail.com with any questions or suggestions. What do you got there? Sour. Field so, works. So it looks like our, our after, uh, our after, after potty beer. Smells delicious. You're going to have to pour because I'm not done with my little stout yet. Uh, kettle sour with passion fruit, pineapple, tangerines, limes, toasted coconut, and hibiscus mm. flowers from Fieldworks. This was uh, this is sent to me. Uh, wow. It's Aloha Vibes from Fieldworks. I like uh, it. From Here. a coworker of mine. Dump some in that glass. We of will mine. see how this. Uh, Good enough. So once again, we can uh, uh, we can be found on Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Uh, if we have a YouTube channel, a YouTube channel as well. Wow, fan. What uh, what else are we missing, Charlie? Uh, we're we're down at your local uh, store down here, Valley Farms. <laughs> we're. Uh, we're running the neighborhoods. We're we're at Bottlecraft. We're we're everywhere. We're, we we get around. Steve, what do you think of that guy? That's a uh, not a fan of sours. Yeah, you're not Aww, a fan of sours. Oh, what's? I'm not getting any sours. Then I'll drink all those dang sours. Ooh, that's got a great taste. I'm a fan of Hawaii. I, I will try it. That tastes like Hawaii in a can. Wow, like pog juice. Yeah, a little bit. It's that's not quite- a. Uh, not quite sweet like Pog, but it is kind of got a tangy flavor to it. It's a kettle sour, which is always good. So next week, Charlie. Yes, sir. What are we uh, What are we going to look at next week? We got a plethora of beers to go through. I would love to do another uh, other half and get into that uh, Green City or O or those uh, vapor um, ghost vapor. That they had, I haven't, test, I haven't tasted them, so I'm super excited about that. I know that Green City is outstanding because we had that. I was making inventory on on my beers, and I uh, found a couple other half uh, collabs as well. Good, uh, let's so maybe. Well, we can we can talk about it, but uh, we'll be doing beer. I'm pretty sure there it is. So uh, join us next time. Uh, here's your host, Chris, signing off. Charlie, Charlie, cheers. Cheers. The Podcraft Podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for information, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. 
It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.